The first thing we need is a WhatsApp trigger. So I'm going to come over here and just type in WhatsApp. And I've got WhatsApp, WhatsApp Business Cloud under triggers. I want to trigger on an incoming message. So uh, we're going to click on that. And, uh, and let's just click out of that so we can arrange this a little bit. And there is our trigger. Um, uh, yeah, there's my trigger. Now we need to connect up to some credentials here. We need to have the API connection between N8N and Meta, who's the company that owns Facebook. They also own WhatsApp, they also own Instagram. We need to be able to talk to them. But this is going to trigger on messages coming in. We have some other options here, but this is the this is the 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 what we want messages coming in. But now we need to get some credentials. Now I've got some credentials in here, but I want to start from scratch on how to do that. So let's just open this up and go create new credential. And we are going to need a client ID and we are going to need a client secret. Now, if you've watched any of the videos we've done already on connecting up to Facebook or to Instagram, you'll know that working with Meta is not so easy. So to follow along, let's see what we can do. Let's just rename this credential. In the meantime, let's just call it tutorial two. So I'm doing this live with you now. So you'll see the mistakes, the warts and all. Let's see how we go. So I'm just gonna save that. Of course, it's giving us errors now. So let's go and get our client ID and our client secret. So we need to head over to this domain here, developers.facebook.com. Head over to that. In fact, if you've watched any of our previous videos on how to connect to Facebook or Instagram from N8N, we've covered a lot of this already. So you might be familiar with this, but I'm gonna click here into my apps. You will, of course, need a Facebook account, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna make the assumptions you have that. And I've got a couple of apps set up, but we are going to need a, a meta app in order to be able to get our credentials. So we're gonna start with a brand new app. So follow along with me here. So we're gonna go create app. Okay, I'm gonna skip past this because it doesn't really give us any options. And let's just call this tutorial for now. I will come back and delete this in a moment. Okay, I can use that for my email address there. So that's the name of our app. Now we are wanting to access WhatsApp and these use cases that they're offering here, none of them include WhatsApp from what I can see. So we're gonna go straight down to other here, click that, click next. Okay, now we want to create a business app. So select that option, click, click next. And here we have our details. Now we've got the option to add a business portfolio here. I'm not gonna do it yet, but I will tell you that you will require a verified business portfolio for this to work. It is a requirement of Meta. So um, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. So let's just skip past this, but you will need a business portfolio that is verified. So let's go ahead and create app in the meantime. Okay, you'll need to log into your log into your Facebook. I just realized I can't talk and type my password at the same time. So I had to pause there. All right, so it's logging in now, it's setting up the app. And we now have our app. We're in the tutorial app. You can see here we have an app ID, et cetera, et cetera. So now we want to add products to our app. Now, if you, you may have a pre-existing app already. You may have connected already to Instagram, for example, if you followed some of our earlier videos or to uh, Facebook, uh, et cetera, et cetera. In which case you can use an, ex an app you have already and just add the WhatsApp integration to it. But as we're starting this a, as a brand new app, I'm just going to hit click here and add WhatsApp. So we'll hit set up here. It's busy adding the WhatsApp integration to our app. And you'll notice now on the left hand menu, we have this option for WhatsApp quick start. Okay, now it's asking us here. It's telling us that in order to access the WhatsApp business platform API, which is what we need to do, we need to go, we need to have a business portfolio. Now I have several, humanoid.biz is my main business. So I've, I've selected that already. So you'll need to have this set up. Now I'm not going to dive into how you do that here. That's a meta function. So just go and Google um, business portfolio and meta and, uh, and I'm sure there's a ton of videos on YouTube on how to do this, uh, but hopefully you have this already, okay? And when we set this up, we will receive a WhatsApp test number and we'll be able to send messages to a maximum of five phone numbers. That's what we will be working with this, the, for this tutorial. But of course, you will be able to access, not access, you will be able to add a dedicated phone number and take this out of out of testing, which is where we'll be into production. But uh, that'll make more sense as we work through this. Anyway, for now, I'm just going to click continue. 
and we'll be taking to this quick start screen. So you can see here, business verification is ticked. My business is verified. Now, as I say, you will need a verified business with Meta in order for this to happen. If you don't have that, and um, it's, this is not going to work, and it does involve um, some configuration and perhaps even uploading some business reg registration docs and the like. So um, yeah, you, you might need to jump through those hoops if you haven't done this already. All right. Okay, but let's come jump down to the left hand side here. Well, actually, before I do that, let's go back over to N8N. It's been a little while since we have looked at that screen. And um, and what are we looking for here? We're looking for a client ID and a client secret. This is what we're after. It's the OAuth API, client ID, client secret. By the way, if you click open docs here, N8N will walk you through how to do this as well. So let's start by looking for a client ID and a client secret. So we're gonna come back over here and where we get that is actually, it's the client ID and the client secret of the app. So here just under app settings, you can come through to basic. And once the page has loaded, it should give us a client ID. They call it app ID here, but this is the client ID. So I'm just gonna copy that, head back over to here, pop that in there, come back to my developer account here, then app secret. I'm gonna show this app secret. You just click on show. I'll delete it after this tutorial just so that it stays secure. Uh, and we'll come back here and we'll put in client secret and then uh, we can save it. It's going to check those credentials and we have connection tested successfully. Fantastic. So this is now working. We have a connection, a WhatsApp OAuth API connection between Meta and N8N. Amazing. So let's close that and make sure you've selected the right credentials, which we have done. And there it is. That is done at the moment. Okay. So now the next step we need to take care of here is we need, if I come back, let's just we need a WhatsApp business cloud. It's kind of odd, but we actually have two different sets of credentials. This is to capture the incoming message coming in from WhatsApp. So imagine someone's on your business website and you've got a WhatsApp uh, number on your business website that they can text and they can send a WhatsApp to, it'll come in. This, this is what will capture that incoming message. When we want to reply though and send a reply back to that person, we're going to need this WhatsApp business cloud node. So let's have a look at that. What's our business cloud? And we want to send a message. So we're going to choose that. Let's just drag this up here as well, put it over here. Now we need to set up the credentials for this. Slightly different on how we do that. So let's click into that. And again, I have some credentials already set up. You can see how I was learning how it all works, but we're gonna go and click, uh, click on create credential. And uh, let's also just rename this. So we can know what is what. Fantastic. Okay, so we need an access token and a business account ID. This is a little bit more complicated, but to get this access token and business account ID, we need to head back over to our Meta development account. We were here. This is when we were setting up our uh, chat incoming um, trigger. So now we're going to go down to WhatsApp here. And we're going to go to API setup. I'll we'll wait for it to load. Okay, so we're going to need to get a access token. Now, you can see how we've been given a test number. This is the number we're going to work with at the moment, test number. Um, this will swap out. You'll swap this out to your main WhatsApp number once you take this into production. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to sit with this test number. It'll do exactly the same thing. We have a test number and we have a WhatsApp business account ID. And if you notice, I'll copy that. And if I go back over to here, there it is, business account ID. ID. So that is the, the ID we're going to work with. So we still need this access token though, but at least we've got that for now. Okay, then we're going to need a select a recipient phone number. Now, when you take this into production, you'll be able to set up your workflow that whatever number sends a message to this number, you know, whatever the incoming number is, the recipient's number, it'll just reply back to that number. But in a testing environment, which is where we are now, we need to 
add a select a recipient number. So I've got a couple of test ones set up here. You're allowed up to five. So you can click on manage phone number list here. You can add in a number. Um, it is going to, I've, I've run out of numbers to test, so I can't show you. But once you add phone number, put in the phone number, put in your own phone number, it'll send you a code on WhatsApp. And then you just get, take, take that code and come back and type it into the next screen that'll appear here and you'll have that recipient phone number as part of this list. So for now, I'm just going to click my own number and it's being added. Not that we needed to do that, but you know, there's the there's the number. Okay, so you're with me so far. We've got our, our business account ID, but now we need to generate an access token. So let's go and click this. Now, before I click this, I'm going to explain what's going to happen. This is now going to open up Facebook, as it were, or an, another interface where I'm giving permission for this app, this app called Tutorial, to access my uh, meta accounts. So I'm linking the two together. That's what's happening here. So I'm going to click generate access token. All right, so here we are. Hopefully you can still see this. Continuous Robin Tindall, that's me. So we're going to continue. And I've been doing some testing and prepping for this video. So I've got a couple of accounts that are already set up here. You, this will just have one, you'll have one test WhatsApp business account available to you. Um, so you'll just select the one that's that's available to you there. Um, I believe my one is ending in 774. Let's hope that works. Um, so I'll select that. I'll, I'll select all of them just to then I know that they're they're all going to work. Um, this is because I've just been playing around. So it's developed a couple of test WhatsApp business accounts for me. So I will hit continue. Seven seven four is the one I think it is, and save. And got it. It is connected up. So now it's given me an access token. So I am going to copy that access token. Head back over to N8N, put this access token in there. And I was right, there we go, it ended in 774. So this is the access token associated with that business account ID. I'm gonna hit save. And uh, there we go, I've got green access. So this looks to still be, this looks to be working. 